What's up, fish tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well and you had a good holiday. So today we're going to wrap up part three of Mr. Oliver Cannot Aquascape in a 150. We've showed you how he puts in the driftwood. We've showed you how he puts in the rocks. Today we're going to put the plants in. Let the record clearly state while I opened quite a bit of these plants, I did not put a single plant in this tag. I'm going to show you the plants today with Oliver Cannot. We're also going to talk about Takashi Mano's death and some of the tricks Oliver has learned from him, as well as how to take care of these tanks in the initial stages. It's a long one, folks. Enjoy it. Here you go. You know, you can put that up on the top. No, he likes it. What? Styrofoam, Styrofoam on top. Uh, getting kind of heavy for you. It's okay. So what is all that Chinese stuff on your arm and on your neck and all that? <laughs> what does that mean? So this is Bushido. This is the way of the samurai. On your forearm? Bushido. Is that new from your trip to uh, Singapore? And this is uh, yeah. Seijin Izuja. Is, is uh, this is Japanese Bushido and this is Chinese, uh, this means aquarium, aquascaping artist. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> yes. In this case, I'm sure. <laughs> because we, we was not drunk and we was only serious, so I hope that. Oh yeah? Yeah. I saw the photos. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like there was some drinking in that. And then uh, I have in my neck there the seven cents, uh, the seven me, um, uh, which mean in English, the the rules, the seven rules of the samurai. There, so ah. like honor and uh, loyalty and something else, and this goes like this, and then this end. And here's Takashi Yamano. Yeah? Takashi that what that says, Takashi Amano? Takashi Amano Sensei. Also. Is that what that says? Yeah. Oh, wow. When did you get that? After he died, uh, yeah. I, I go to the you went to the shop. You went to the show? Later. You went to the show? Oh, when Takashi Amano died, Two what did you do? Two days later, I go to the tattoo shop and said I need the, wow. the name on my... It says Takashi Amano Sensei on your neck. Yeah. Wow, dude. <clears throat> he must have been a really good guy, because I don't know if I'd tattoo anybody else's name on my body. What did you think at first when uh, you heard Takashi Mano died? Yeah, I, I am. Uh, I have some private relationship, so of course, first I was shocked, and then I think it's yeah. For our hobby, it's a really lo a big lose because uh, he set up the level in a, in a, a new a new level for our hobby. Yeah, uh, and you knew him personally. Yeah, yeah. So you knew he was sick. <laughs> yes, and uh, I was at the farewell ceremony, ceremony also the the memorial. Uh, goodbye. Yeah. In Hikata, four weeks ago, well, six weeks ago. Wow. So there was two thousand people. There was two thousand people at Takashi Mano's farewell. Yeah. Wow. It was very emotional. Yeah. Okay. I find it interesting. He did that big work in Lisbon. Yeah, that's cool. Well, just like the last, timing of it. His last project, and the, I, I know that his all his energy goes to this project at the end because uh, he was really not in the best condition, and uh, but he tried to set up this tank as last. Yeah. As his last work. Yeah. Did you go to the Lisbon setup? <laughs> not yet. Maybe in 
So I cover the front, all the front with the stone green. So the uh, in front of the in front of the small stones, uh, I think <coughs> the plants. If you have enough CO two and the light is good enough, like I heard. About yeah, you heard. Again. That's right, you heard. Yeah. The blaster will get down there. I think Stauerbühne is not so e not so difficult. I think it's, I, at the beginning maybe a little bit slow growing, but then it's very easy. I think it's it's easy to maintain as foreground plane. And how do you maintain the Stauerbühne ribbons? Like this? Yeah. After a couple months, what would you come yeah, in and do? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I think it can be uh, that this uh, you have to remove some of the. The plant and plant the plant them fresh. So because um, when it's too too strong growing, but uh, I think the first month, few months, you don't have to need nothing. I also have some carpets like this, six, seven month old, and do nothing. Yeah. And uh, then. If you don't cut them uh, um, frequently, you have to remove them, sometimes the complete carpet and have to plant. Replant? You replant them. So it kind of like suffocates out or it grows too thick and you have to... Yes. So it likes a hard cut? Yeah. Dave, you got CO2 on this, right? Oh, yeah, you'll be straight. <laughs> I think it's <coughs> necessary. How tall is this one, Philly? 20, is it 30? 28, 28. 28, yeah, and then you got the light over. Look pretty tight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Normal in the normal way, I have to sit down in the hotel and drinking cocktail. Uh, but this well, now you get to escape and drink beer. So <laughs> yes, in this case, mm. that is not the baddest job, I think. Drinking beer, talking about. Aquascaping. Could be worse. Yes. Sure. Sitting in the office, on the computer. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't tell me about that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back to work next week. Uh. Okay. I have four weeks vacation and I didn't use any of it until just this week. So. How far up will you take the Stara? You go up pretty, uh, you take it just mostly in the front? Yeah, so between the rocks or something, or in the me medium sector, or maybe depending on the other plants. So we have a lot of things left, so maybe later between the, you know, between the small rocks, I think it can be, looks very nice when they are. Yeah, it looks great when it comes out the rocks. Yeah, because the contrast of the black rocks and the green plants looks <laughs> you have uh, some, you had some, um, um Taking the doors before in the tank, I think. Oh no. Sorry, sir. You have some uh, from the big Ignatovis doors inside? Did you have any swords from left over from last time? I uh, yeah. gave them to my son. Yeah, okay. What? What? Yeah. I don't know that. Why? Okay.
Yes, we're peaceful. What? What did you say to me? That's what the point is. I put the hammock away. I took off the hammock and put it next to your house. So I hit the funny ones over here. It sucks when you don't eat all What kind of sorts? I think it's not. Uh, you wanted the narrow. Uh, I think first I want treat and I think yeah, treat and yeah. Uh, other. They're nice. There's a, also a, like like this here is more natural. It's um, the white form. The tri. You like the the yeah. wire trident? Yeah, like this. I like it. It's cool. I've got some Wendelov out in the car. Yeah. Some Wendelov, the like little lacy stuff. It's a rough gig sitting here drinking a beer filming this, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough stuff. Oh, you just need to use the hose. Yeah, your wife should be watching this one. Uh, She's uh, like, this is what you do when you go out of town? Yeah, honey. God, I was working really hard. But honey, I had to get the video made. <laughs> and he made me drink the beer. It's like the first time I've seen him step back and actually look at him. So it's not necessary to, to... You can just have to fix them a little bit. 
on the rocks, between the rocks, and then they are attached everywhere. So, uh, also, some other plants. Sometimes it's not necessary to plant them in the in the in the in the gravel. You just have to put them near it. near, and then they are they are the roots coming from below. So you don't even you just put a rock on top of where the java fern is, and that's fine. Yeah. At all, just that they are not coming up. Okay. Like this, maybe like a big hill with the red plants, and then if it's too much, it's just remove them and put some new, cut them, and put with a bin set between. This is just a, but you, if you don't like it, then if it's too much work, you can you let it. It's just an, at the beginning that you have a fast growing plant inside it. So it's a fast growing plant in this tank. Because they are also in the, in the top of the tank. They have the most light and in the middle of the tank. So they have the best um, conditions maybe. <coughs> What's your plans for the corners there? Maybe, uh, the How tall is yeah, that? They grow, so you have this like this. So you have the big hill in the middle because they are also regrowing something like this. And you have to, and you have a little bit. You have this. Um, How tall is this thing good? Hmm? How tall are these good? If you don't, ah, uh, I think. Kind of doors? Yeah, I think this is um, maybe we'll see something like this. Uh, they're getting big as the tank is. So you can remove the these these leaves are just the the, 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 the immersed leaves, and they're getting other kind of um, the red ones. The red ones. There's some some still in the plants. So those the ones that got the spoon at the top and they're skinny in the middle. Those are grown above water, so they're going to be grown new on the center. I think something like this. Oh, it'll have a red? Yeah. Are those a reddish? Yeah, because they are, um, so they are so close uh, in the near of the water that they are thinking they are underwater. So sometimes they're getting some underwater leaves. And they are getting something, leaves like this. And these are just waste. Now it looks good, but then they're getting yellow leaves and something else, and then you can cut them. In that fish tank, people they're grown above water, so that they you cut the, those will all go yeah. away because they're. Yeah, you, you can cut them all now, but then it looks not so good. But uh, you help the plant a little bit. No, nope. would it help the plant to cut them, or would you leave? Them? Yeah, you can. If you cut the, if you cut the immersed plants, uh, the immersed leaves, you help the plant because the, this plant is not. Um, they, they can't grow with this plant underwater, so they put them away. So it's just it's so waste. It's waste energy, sending the energy to yeah. those leaves. Normally, yes. Yeah. But uh, in this case, we use it also. So it looks much more nice. You want the wife to be happy when she comes in and sees. Yes. <laughs> Alright, I think that's all the plants. I'm going to get back to the stars. Yeah. Some of them. Here's your scissors. <laughs> How many stars you want? All? No, I just made a few. Six, seven. Okay.
kind of liquid fertilizer you use? Um, Seachem. What would you recommend using on this olive oil? Like, it's like what, what fertilizers, how much, that kind of thing. I recommend, sometimes I recommend uh, the thing, for example, when I'm in a shop where you can choose. The difference is not so big from the different. Um, well, not brand, but what, uh, what actual fertilizers, like potassium? Yes, um, yes uh, potassium is very important. Sometimes it's uh, too less. In the, yeah, so like. Uh, the more the better, potassium? I think it's sometimes a lack of uh, potassium, yeah, because especially in the beginning, we are using, we need a lot of them, and uh, if you can dose it extra. I need you to speak up for the camera that's back in the room. So you're saying potassium, <laughs> lots of potassium? Yeah. <laughs> early on? Yeah. And then at the beginning, also, for example, Amano, uh, with this uh, system, and this 20 years ago, he started the system. He, um, those extra potassium every day. Extra potassium every day? Like double or 50% more? How much more potassium? Yeah, depend, uh, yeah depending on the, the little bit of the, the plant thing. But uh, this is uh, very different from, from the rest. So they have a daily daily fertilizer for um, the normal ingredients. And then they add the, the potassium extra every day. Because some, some of the some of the things they without potassium they are not able to uh, to use the other kind of um, it's a limiting factor. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> so potassium is a limiting factor, especially early on. Yeah. And Takashi Yamano used to use a lot more potassium yeah. early on, yeah. in addition to all the other fertilizers. Yeah. Wow. Learned something. And he did this twenty years ago. Twenty years ago. So, uh, because he started with this system, I uh, think, 20 years ago, around. It's good stuff, all Yeah. I think that is, oh, well, my God, hold on. We have that. some here, but uh, we don't need it. Maybe. Maybe you use it. Did you learn that uh, from Amano when you went over to Japan, or how did you, how, you had a practicum with him. Yes, studies. Yeah, but it, it, it was more. Um, it was uh, the the most I learned in in, in these two weeks was the, the philosophy of the Japanese of Takashi Yamada's company. So uh, not the not the tricks, the way they work. So the uh, when we prepare the plans, uh, we have to quick. Uh, they prepare the plants very well, very strict, very, uh, they take the time, and um, how many we're making richer, richer stones. I was going to say, how many richer stones? Yeah, well, we 600 pieces. 600? In, for one tank and one tank. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I just did like 100. Yeah. It was 600 richer stones. We well, you have for to one, tie it? For one tank. For one tank? Yeah, something like this. The tank size may be a little bit deeper, but... Uh, 600 Ricky stones, dude, sitting there time. So this is what I learned. Yeah? The, this is uh, to, to, uh, the, the results of these tanks are uh, the, 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 prepar the preparing of the plants was one of the results, or was responsible for the results. You think the preparation helped? Yeah, yeah, for sure. The good preparation. It was worth it to do 600 Rikia stones because that tank turned out better. They are in, in the, this tank is in two weeks. They are completely covered with richer, so fast. So you think that it, it's there's a good you? I mean, you learned that lesson as far as like taking the time to prepare the plants properly, like tying the Anubias, tying the Rikia, that sort of thing. Yeah. The most important thing I learned that they are they have more passion for this uh, for this hobby a little bit. So 
So they are very uh, deep in the in the praxis to uh, to prepare the plans and uh, to. For us, this is yeah. It's a, for them, it's also a job, but this is more the way, you know, the way to the tank. So three it's people. The method. Yeah, three people preparing 600 Witcher stones for one day for one day. Wow. This is the way, not the... Uh, I need Witcher stones. Uh, I, I make some Witcher stones, so they... Uh, Coming through. This is maybe the, the, the different... So I hope the customer is satisfied with the result. <laughs> Silence. I wish I would have had a picture of it. So I, I can show you. Please so you show <laughs> us the before. Please show us the before. I, I don't have one. Dude. I I didn't want to be uh, ashamed. No, no, no. no. But I think the most uh, the 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 most difficult part is the the Starogune one because this is um, but the rest is very easy. But I think the time is. If we have enough CO two, the most important is CO two, water change also. How often do you do how water much, changes? How much would you want him to do a water change? I don't know exactly the water here, what kind of uh, quality. Do you have hard water, soft water, it mixes. It. pH is like 7, 6 out of the tap. And the total hardness or something else? I don't know. I don't know. Carbonate hardness? It's fairly hard. Very hard? Fairly hard, not, not super hard, but... Okay. So, I think... Maybe you have to at the beginning you have that you have to try every week thirty per thirty forty percent every week at the moment if you want to uh, to push the plants a little bit because every in every water change but it's depending on a little bit on the water you uh, you're getting new minerals inside and also the plants now when you're changing the water are you like Gravel vacuum that little bit of gravel. No, 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 normally, no. Normally, this uh, if if the starogyne grows two three months, they are completely covered the whole front. You can't using a vacuum cleaner anymore. You can uh, just the, the hose of the to suck up a little bit the the, the dirty, but uh, also important is to put. You can put a lot. You can put. A lot of fish inside, but not too much. That's the, the so the, the balance must be good. Right? If you have too big fish and with too much food, then uh, all the dirt getting between the plants, it can also a little. So, bit like, if you were going to put fish in here, what what would you do? Maybe uh, I think uh, the ink, uh, so scalar, you can using some. Yeah, Altum, maybe it's, they are getting too big for this tank, but at the beginning is no problem. I think some Neon or some Tetra, something else. Big fish group, smaller one, and then some um, bigger one. How many if, you have, if you want to... If how many Neons would you put in something like this? If you, if you want to put some uh, Amano shrimps inside, you have to take care about the... Uh, the big fish, but the amano shrimps are very great to to clean the tanks. You know, sometimes you have to choose if you have to big um, altum inside there. Try to to catch them sometimes. What about ghost shrimps? Yeah, for ghost shrimps, yes, yes. I've always just put ghost shrimp in because they're like twenty for a dollar. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. They're not going to work as hard for you as the Amano shrimp, though, which yeah. are ten times as much as the. So. Yeah. I think we are close to fill the water slowly inside. I don't know how you make it. Well, what we're going to have to do is because I still have. We can the, we can count this up. Fish tank uh, people, I got to get all of you eating uh, apple pie because I don't know if he's ever had American apple pie. What do you think of the scape, Oliver? Turn out all right? Yeah, I like it. You like it? And uh, you were giving uh, David instructions on kind of what to do. Yeah. If you don't mind repeating that again, kind of what do you think uh, he should do the next like month, two weeks or whatever as far as maintaining this? Most important water change is 
percent. Yeah. A week. Thirty, forty percent a week. Yeah, and uh, not too much light at the beginning. Okay, because the, the most of them are not so high demand plants. Okay, if you find them the right balance and, and then put the right fish and uh, the petrol. I, I said uh, the, the cleaning crew inside. The cleaning crew. <coughs> cool. Snails and. Well, let you eat your pie. Hey, thank you both, you guys, for letting me come out here and, and check this out. It's been real tight. And yes, I had an absolute ride. Tank on. <laughs>